My name is Dylan James Payne. I've been in digital media for two years now. Uh, this is my second year. I don't know how many months, but uh, we're here every day. Learned how to edit on Premiere, use Photoshop correctly, use After Effects. Um, there's a whole bunch more. I just can't even think of it at the moment. It's honestly been the funnest class of my high school career. Uh, I wouldn't have changed it for anything. Um, definitely take it, try it. I've been teaching this class uh, for 18 years. I teach them uh, digital media, which now is, includes uh, Photoshop, uh, video editing, uh, film production, um, many different items, audio. You should take this class just because in the future this is going to be all about the things that you need to know. Like when you go to get a job, you're going to have to be able to present yourself, sometimes on camera. Uh, many companies right now will make you uh, look on a camera right on your computer and talk to them before they ever call you in for an interview. So you learn on camera stuff, you learn stuff behind the camera, you learn uh, how to put together uh, presentations that lots of companies want you to know how to do. Carlson Digital Media Arts. Hello, uh, my name is Patrick Morrow. I just wanted to tell you some additional facts about my classes. Um, one is uh, my syllabus. My syllabus is available online on Schoology. It basically describes uh, what my class is all about and how I grade. And I grade on four premises. Effort, audio quality, video quality, and then overall presentation that the students provide. And I'll be looking at their projects and really trying to evaluate them fairly and give them some feedback, which is very important. Um, major learning topics are shooting and editing, um, lighting, music, applications, uh, the Adobe Suite. That's very important. We use all Adobe products. We all use all Apple products. Um, we also provide them with drones and different avenues to learn uh, higher technologies. We stream a lot in class or outside of class. We do football games. So there's lots of opportunities for the students. The more they put into the program, the more they're going to get out of the program. Um, COVID, uh, we will be cleaning the desks regularly. And when a student sits in a desk, that desk is theirs for the whole year and they have to move that desk with them if they want to talk to other students. So their workstations um, are also included in that. They are clean daily. Uh, they sit at one computer the whole year, and a lot of times in my class right now, because we have a smaller class, they actually get to have that computer the whole time that they're in my class. Nobody else will touch it. At the most, there's one other student touching that computer, but that's it because of the lower class sizes this year. And lastly, uh, my general expectations are that the student respect me, that they follow directions when they're outside of the classroom because they get lots of uh, opportunities to go out and shoot. They have more mobility than most students. So when I let them out of class, I expect them to res res uh, respect me and respect my class and represent my class most of all. Um, if you ever have any questions as a parent, and want to talk to me, you can email me or you can call me directly. I will get back to you within one business day. And uh, it's a pleasure having your, your son or your daughter in my class. I hope to impart to them a lot of uh, techniques that they can use in the future with technology being so important in the workplace. Even if they don't work in television or work in film or work in photography, they still can use many of the things that are taught in this class. Thank you.